This video will demonstrate how to create a custom field. Custom fields are fields you can create yourself to hold a wide variety of data that wasn't available in Classic USAS. They will be available in nearly all options of USAS R and can be used anywhere a normal field is used, including in programs, grids, and reports. Custom fields can be enabled or disabled as desired by the district. So I've got the custom fields grid already pulled up. And you'll notice that some of the fields from Classic USAS have been turned into custom fields, like Code 1, Code 2, Create a Date. Um, these are all those user-defined fields that were available in Classic. If they are enabled, the active column will display true. So here's my active column right here. Since you can disable custom fields, this will allow you to remove fields that you don't use or care about from the various programs. To disable a custom field, edit the custom field and uncheck the active box. So if I wanted to get rid of one of these um, user-defined fields, maybe the created data in the vendor record, I can go over here and edit this and then go ahead and uncheck the active box. This will then disable this custom field and it will no longer appear in my vendor interface. So in my example, what I'm going to do is add two custom fields to the vendor interface for W9 tracking. Both will be date formatted fields, the first being a W9 sent field so that I can enter a date when the W9 form was sent to the vendor. And the second field is going to be a W9 received field so that I can track when I received the completed form from the vendor. So first off, I want to go to core and look at the vendor interface. And I'm just going to pick on the top one here so we can actually see all the vendor data. So I kind of have to pinpoint where do I want these custom fields to appear. So here's my 1099 section. So if I want those W9 tracking fields to be probably I'm going to try and put them in the front here before the ignore limits field. So that's where I want them located on my vendor record. So I'm going to go back then exit out of here. And I'm going to go back to admin and go to custom field definitions. And I'm going to go ahead and click on create. And what it's going to do then first is it's going to ask me for a type. And I want it to be a date format. So I'm going to click on date. And then which record is it applied to? I'm dealing with the vendor information. So I'm just going to arrow down to get to vendor. And then I'm going to click on continue. And then from here then, I have to give it a display name. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in W9. W9 cent. And I already know that it's in a date format. And the order, I'm going to label it as the first field for that section. It applies to the vendor. It's, I want it to be enabled. And I also want to give it a property name. This is the field label when it's displayed in the grid or in a report query. I'm going to give it the same name as my display name. And I want this to appear when I display it in a basic query or display it in the grid. And then the group is the section in the vendor program where I want the custom field to be displayed. I wanted it to be displayed in the 1099 section. So I'm going to put in 1099. And then I'm going to click on Save. X out, X out of here. And then I'm just going to type in W9. And here is the custom field that I just created. And I'm going to go ahead and do one more. And again, it's going to be a date format. And it applies to the vendor record. And it's going to be W9 received. And in the order number this time, I'm going to make it a 2.
to, for it to come after the W9 cent. And again, I'll use the same name as I did for my display name. And I want this to show in a query or in the grid. And again, it's the 1099 section of the vendor record I want it to be displayed under. So I click on Save and exit out. And so here's my second custom field. So after I'm done with this then, I'm going to go back to Core and under Vendors and make sure that those custom fields are in there. So I'll view this first one. And now underneath the 10989 section, you'll see that the custom field has been added for both the W9 sent and the W9 received.